back to my channel. If you don't already know, my name is Camille Nicole, and this is It Could All Be So Simple. If you follow me on Instagram, thank you for coming over to YouTube side. So while you're here, why don't you just subscribe, like this post, comment down below if you could like what you saw, and let's just get into this video. Today we're doing an express spring haul. Now, for those of you who don't know, I'm an express style editor. What is that? Express style editor is, you know, somebody who's on social, promoting their brand, doing a bunch of content surrounding their items, going in store, hosting events, getting the chance to go on these intensive trips where, you know, I was featured in a campaign for January, February, and March. Besides all the amazing perks of being Express Style Editor, what I really love about it, number one, besides the community that is part of it, the, com the Express community, the fellow style editors, and the company itself, it's the clothes. I was, oh, I've been a fan of I've been a fan of Express since I was in high school. Ever since I could wear Express, ever since you know I had to leave behind my limited two days because I couldn't fit those clothes anymore. And I had to find something and I wanted to um, go for a more mature wardrobe. Um, they've definitely been doing their thing. So I'm definitely going to show you a couple pieces that I think you may like that you may want in your closet as well. So without further ado, let's just get right on into this video. So as you can see from looking at my rack, I have color. It's spring. So it's really start to start adding the color into your wardrobe. Don't be hesitant because you see, I don't have anything too crazy. Yet. At least from my opinion, I don't think I have anything too crazy here. I have my greens, you know, a dark green because I love a good olive green and this dress, but I'm going to talk to you about it later. But, you know, you have whites for your neutrals. I have some beige in here, tan. Then you have your pinks, purples yellow orange those type of things but don't worry about it because these items are pieces that you can mix well with a lot of different items and you could blend them with a bunch of other colors as well if you want to keep it neutral or black any of these colors will equally go with black but or sometimes these options are also available in black so the first thing that i kind of want to break the the um haul into is let's first talk about blazers or outerwear not jackets but like sweaters blazers layering pieces so the first one i want to talk about is this one button blazer sorry one button sweater so cute it has the little line detailing i forgot what it's called it's coming to me right now i'm camera shy even though it's me um, but this is such a cute top. It's such a cute little layer. And it's white, so it would go with literally anything just to throw it on. Because I don't have any content with me in it. Real quick. So you can leave it open. Looks super cute with this red and blue that I'm wearing right now. I look like the American flag. It's, it's giving 4th of July. But it's so cute. And you can wear it with, honestly, almost anything. If you want to do the little one button open type of vibe, you can do that as well. It's giving peekaboo. <laughs> um, I'm going to pop something up of me and wearing this a different way as well. But it's a nice little piece that I think you may want to have in your closet. And that's the reason why I got it because I don't have, besides a white blazer, I don't have anything that... I don't have a little cute sweater that I can wear with sundresses and dresses and jeans and you know sometimes when you don't want to wear a blazer a little cardigan I don't want an oversized cardigan either I'm kind of leaving those kind of in the fall and winter I'm going I'm more on my crop grind so this is it next we have this pink crop blazer it's in this kind of neon pink. It's such a cute little pop color. If you're looking for that little item to add pop of color in your closet, this would be it. It also comes in this yellow, which also looks really good. This is a different blazer though. So it's a good little blazer. I will tell you that it does have padded shoulder pads. 
which if you haven't noticed has been a little more popular this year we're getting back to 80 vibes my hair fell don't touch me so it's giving you that strong shoulder the padding is is non-removable so i'm just gonna let you know that as well I mean, if you were to take it somewhere, I'm sure you can get them removed if you really wanted to. But I don't think it's too crazy. It doesn't give you, like, oh, move out my way, like, shoulder. It gives boss. It gives, you know, I know what I'm doing. I know how to dress. Even with this red, a vibe. Saw this with jeans. Saw this with um, some trousers, some wide leg trousers. I'm wearing a flares right now. You can wear them with different colors, like dark wash, medium wash, light wash, like what I'm wearing it with. I have a video of me wearing um, these with some another pair of flares that I have in a light wash color as well. Or you can get matchy-matchy in this and matching pants that literally match this. But it's a it's a great, like I said, a great pop of color that you, um, if you like pink or if you're just looking for something to give you that little oomph in your closet, this is it. It's so cute. So, so cute. Just, and if you can, you don't have to do anything crazy underneath. You can just do a basic layer, like a tank top, for instance. This little white tank top that I have. Express has this line called Body Contour, and it's a bunch of these kind of seamless, stretchy items that kind of just contour your body. They're made to fit you very well. This is a crop that comes in a jillion billion colors. This will be linked down below as well. So definitely check that out. You always want to have some white basics and black basics in your closet. Sometimes you want to add color more like this red one I'm wearing. I have the same one in white, creams, light pink, purple. Yes. Next, we have this little number. This is taking it soft with the color. This is giving you light pink lavender vibes spring pastels it's really kind of this kind of light pink if you can really see it from the lighting soft very um muted pink but the nice thing about this blazer the little tricky is that the back is cut out it's a very cute a pop-up video of me wearing this item just so you can kind of see what it looks like with something behind it and with the back out. This is an item that also comes in black. So if you don't want something so light, you can also go for the black as well. This, again, there are pants that match it if you want a full suit. I have a skirt that matches it um, completely. A little pencil skirt. Which is very cute, form fitting, open split in the back. Very cute. Um, and also jeans, the obvious choice. It's spring, you know, we're getting back on our denim grind, so jeans are always a good idea. Next, we have, um, now I actually have some sets to show, but if they start with a blazer. So we have this one olive green one of my favorite colors and a color that can be worn literally year round it's like this um cropped i would say it gives like military that military style look because of the pocket detailing and the piping going down here and also this um detail here along the shoulder you see that with a lot of military um style items this comes, well, it doesn't come with, but Express styled them with these cargo, these belted cargos, which I wore for my last event that I went to um, in Times Square. These belted cargos, joggers, so they have kind of like the jogger bottom. They're also um, pleated here. 
when I tell you these are the most comfortable pants <laughs> that I've tried on probably in the past couple of months, I'm not lying. These pants are, they also come in like a white as well, which I think I'm gonna get. Even though I'd have another pair of white cargos, but they're just, like I said, the pants are just super comfortable. It's like, I can't pass myself, I can't pass up on them. Again, you know, when you have a set, they can be worn as separates. So you don't always have to wear the two items together. You can wear, I wore these joggers the other day with a, just a button down shirt. Um, this jacket could be worn as an overlay for other looks. Once it gets warm enough, it could be just worn as a jacket. Back to color. So we have this, um, it's like a linen blend. It's a boyfriend fit blazer, but I did size down so that I can have more of a fitted look if I wanted to cinch it because the cool thing about this blazer I'm going to show you in a second is that you can control the cinching in the back so you see this pleating here this is literally me cinching it from the inside of the jacket there's a little thing here which side is it on it's on this side and you can make it tighter as a drawstring. You can make it tighter if you want. Like say if you want to just leave it open so you need it tighter in the back. Moment of silence for this blazer. Now this blazer, if it's still available in this color, I'm not sure. If it is, you can catch it on sale. It's very um, breathable, nice, and then I have some flare um, high-rise trousers to go along with it. So this color is a great color for spring, great color for summer. Even I could catch you in the fall in it. These are flare trousers. So I'll make sure high waisted my favorite rise on a pant and this is a set that I had since February or January February January I don't remember but I can't wait to wear it <laughs> I literally can't wait and this blazer does have a button on it it's one it's a one button blazer so you can close it if you wanted to. All the blazers that I have here have buttons. The military one does have two at the bottom. The uh, cutout one has one right after, right under the lapel. The pink has one, and then you know the sweater in the beginning, the white one has one button as well. So putting the jackets blazers sweaters to the side let's get into some tops so i had to go do a little quick wardrobe change real quick so you can see we're into tops so this cute little top pulser and it's also body contour so it's nice that's nice stretchy material super comfortable you have a little peephole here it's giving summer but it's also something that you can start wearing, you know, in spring once it gets warm. Great layering option if you want to catch, kind of wear this in the office. You can kind of hide that and throw a little blazer, throw that one button blazer on top, or I mean the one button sweater or the just a regular blazer, neutral blazer. Throw it on with a pink blazer. Pink and orange look fabulous together. But it's a cute little top that I was like, oh, I don't have anything like that. Let me add it to my closet. So usually when I'm shopping. I don't want a bunch of basics. You want also you want to add blouses to your collection because basics are great and you could you could always fall back on them. But sometimes you just want a little oomph in your closet, and that's what tops like these are for. When it gets hot enough, you want to wear 
just the shirt by itself and then just some pants and that would be the forefront so I'm gonna put something here a little cute little look here so you can kind of see how you can wear this because you got options with this one my favorite top that I have gotten for this spring is this cute little baby doll peplum top with these these flare frilly sleeves I love this top. One, my favorite color is purple. Lavender really, but this is such a cute purple for spring. It reminds me of tulips, because this is a color you see of tulips when they're purple. It's the cutest top ever. I didn't think I was gonna like it as much as I did. I knew I was gonna like it, but I didn't think I was gonna like it this much. Like, I really love this top. Like, it's so cute. This one, I had the size down. Normally, sometimes I would get a large in certain tops because I thought it was going to be a little tight in this area, but it actually was really big in the area. So I sized down to get a medium in this. So it's like a literally a perfect fit. Love it. Love it. Wear this with jeans. I actually did a monochrome look with this with some wide leg trousers. So I'll put that up so you can see how I, I wore it. But definitely wear this with jeans. I even did something with a skirt in this too. So look at that as well because... This is the top you need. I'm sorry. I think it also comes like in the light pink from the like what I had in the blazer earlier. I think it comes in a cream maybe. I think it comes in four colors. So definitely check the link to see the other options that this top comes in. But it's the cutest top and you need it. Now I'm definitely a button up girl. I like a good button up. I like a good white button up. But more than that, after I have my you know, five or ten white button-ups in my wardrobe. Then I start to get colors. And more importantly, stripes. I don't know what it is about stripes. But this neon stripe. And it has the raglan kind of cut sleeves. Like baseball. Because if you don't know what raglan is, it's more like that baseball kind of shirt cut. Love. Love. Love, 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 love. And this is a boyfriend fit, so it is oversized. I did go with a large still, knowing that it's boyfriend fit, because I love my button-ups to be oversized. You can play with them. You have the option of tying them up by the waist. That's why I do like them to be bigger if you want to play around and manipulate the shirt in different ways. So this is a good shirt for that. It's also a great spring color that can pair well with jeans, with trousers. Again, options. When I, when I shop... I'm looking for things that I can wear multiple ways or multiple times at least. I'm not looking for something just I'm going to wear one time. That's not happening. Um, tops. And I already told you about the basics. Oh, so we have this top as well. It's giving white button up, but it's not giving white button up. This is a blouse. It's like this faux wrap blouse. Um, so you can see it has a wrap. Don't mind it being wrinkled. I'm waiting for my steamer. Um, but it's a tunic as well. So it comes down in the back. It's giving maitre d. <laughs> uh, fashion, a, sty a style, um, stylish maitre d. This shirt looks so good on though. It's so good. This I could have gotten a medium in. Um, but I got a large still because I was thinking I wanted to oversize. But it's it's a little big, but I kind of like it. I kind of mess with it. Like, it's it's kind of funky. But this is something that just came out this for this month. It's an April release. Get it because it's so cute. And it's a nice basic. It's, it's like a basic because it's white and it's like a button down, button up. But it's just like a little, it's like that a jazzy piece that I say you need in your closet just to give it a little, mm, your outfit a little oomph. Mm. Again, it pairs well good with jeans. It goes with trousers. You could probably wear, throw a skirt on with that too and that would be super cute. I think I'm going to do that in my reel. I'm going to do a reel wearing that top multiple ways. Just so you can see. So stay tuned for that. Like I said, if you don't follow me on Instagram, definitely follow me. It can all be so simple. The three, I mean, the E is a three at the end, always, in all platforms. So, after the tops, I'm jumping right into dresses. I don't have too many dresses. I have three to show. But there's some that just came out in April that I'm eyeing. So, this is just stuff that I bought from January up until now. 
So this dress, I actually, I think, got it in February. It is like a shirt dress. It's a, it's a modern, cool play on a typical shirt dress. It doesn't button all the way down. It's just a half button. And then I could say the hem, like on the skirt area, it kind of curves up. It gives, when you wear it, it gives two piece. Because you can kind of manipulate to where it kind of hangs over where it looks like you're wearing a top and a skirt. Love the color. It's definitely giving spring something I got in the winter because, you know, jewel tones are big. But it can transition into the spring where you don't have to wear tights or boots with it. You can wear sandals. So cute. Love it. This also comes in like a cream and I believe one other color. Now, speaking of shirt dresses, I've been seeing a lot of shirt dresses when I've been shopping and I guess they're back because I used to love a good shirt dress. There's like the perfect polished chic look and they're super comfortable and like flattering most of them. So I got this one. Just the all white one. It comes in these cute lime color, um, a lime um i think it comes in orange as well i think don't quote me but look at the link and see what it comes in plus i don't know if it's still available i believe this was a february release i know one of the colors are available at least if not white or you know white should still definitely be available but again it has like that raglan cut on the shoulders so it's giving kind of that sporty vibe so you can take a look at the video next i'm going to it up you can see how I wore it if you wanted to do this kind of open or do a half and wear it with bottoms you can do that instead of wearing it as a dress it is I wouldn't say it's too short it's it's a good length it's above it's right above the knee I don't remember but <laughs> look at the video I have it next it's not like super high I don't like any mini stuff so it's not a mini and I wear shorts under my most of my stuff when it's spring or summer I'm wearing shorts because you ain't catching me slipping but this is a great little basic dress, easy breezy to have in your closet. Because sometimes you don't always want to get dresses for when you're going out or you want to go on a date. Even though you can rock that for a date, but you want something that you just throw on sometimes. And that's a good option for that. Now, speaking of dates, you got this little number here. This just is another April release. Um... The military olive green jacket was also an April release, so those items are brand new. And the one, the one button sweater is an April release, so those items are brand new, so you can definitely find them fully available on the site right now. This dress here. Now, I don't know if you can really see how cute it is right here, and maybe it's not giving much right now, but I, I do love the detailing. It looks like it's like a like one of those corset tops up top. And then it just kind of loosens out in the back. But this dress has another little cutout in the back. And it's not a lower back cutout, it's an upper back cutout. So I don't know if that makes people feel more comfortable, but I know personally it makes me feel comfortable because I'm still working on um, getting this right back here. So this dress, Body contour, so it's meant to be like snatching you, but obviously um, it doesn't have any like, you know, like the, I forgot what it's called, the stuff that holds you in. It's just really stretchy and comfy. It's flattering. You may still have to wear um, some stuff if you need to wear Spanx or anything. Definitely rock it, whatever, do what you got to do because this dress is all that in a bag of cookies tate's cookies yums i know <laughs> but i love this dress i cannot wait to wear it this is definitely be a date night dress for me um you can wear this to work too just pop on a blazer so you can cover the cutout because it's a long dress it's a it's a midi so um let me show you the length i'm gonna wear it though so but it's a it's a midi dress so you see there you go it's a midi so it's a good length 
Also, if you want to, I got a medium so because I wanted it to hug, but you can always get a large if you want a little extra room in the dress. Even the medium is not like I'm squeezed in like, oh, I can't breathe. No, it's definitely not giving that. One second, my camera. Um, Bottoms. As I mentioned before I say that, as I mentioned, there is a couple of dresses that I do want to get still. But they're going to be like basic dresses. Nothing crazy. I'm not a big floral girl. Ooh, speaking of floral, I forgot one of my, my favorite tops. This was a March release. Can't believe I forgot it. This top, speaking of me not being a floral girl, but then I buy this top with these accented. They're not flowers, though. They're not flowers, but it's giving flower. But they're not print, printed flowers. Like, it's different it being part of the outfit and not being a print. I'm not a big print flower girl. Like, I don't care for prints. This is another body contour top, and this one definitely snatches you all in. I did true to size medium here. Um, this top, you need in closet. also comes in that kind of purple color that I showed you earlier. This top is gorgeous. As you can see me wearing it here, it's the top. Besides that purple top, it's the top you need. Now that's one could be is usually gonna be more of a dress up, a dressy or a top or like because you're gonna people are gonna notice you in it. There's no way you can like break casual that down. I mean, granted, you can put jeans on it, but you're still gonna look spiffy. Like there's no way you can deny that top. Okay, back to to bottoms. So let me change real quick because I'm going to put something on that matches this. So one second. And we're back. And we're talking about bottoms. So <clears throat> I put these high-waisted, belted, wide leg trousers on. Let me just put y'all down a little bit. These are one of my new favorite pairs of pants that I own. Super flattering, don't mind the wrinkles. I'm waiting for my steamer because my boy, my fiance has ruined the iron and I'm not trying to get any marks on my clothing. But this is something that you can wear easily with a lot of different items because again, it is that neutral color. So you can pair it with a lot. You see I'm wearing it with this orange. Sorry, this camera. It's really the stand that's bothering me. Can you see? Okay, so yes, you can wear this with a lot of different items because of the neutral color. I chose to get this khaki tan color, but it also comes in olive green and I believe black or white. Check. Um, but yes, super cute, super comfy. All the pockets are functional. So that's definitely a, a bonus. But you see... The top, it has a peekaboo, but doesn't mean it has to be sexy. I'm wearing with this. And what I didn't realize about this top is that it also has a peekaboo in the back. What? <laughs> uh, so another pair of pants besides these, which I love, are... Um, you know what, another thing I want to say about these pants is giving cargo, but it's not cargo because of the material. It's kind of like that uh, parachute kind of material. Um, but yes, I love them. So, <clears throat> then we get into cargos. So besides the um, cargos that I showed you earlier in the video, the green ones that go with that jacket, which also come in a white color, we have these, which are more uh, dressy. The other ones were joggers. These are like um, wide leg trousers. And you, have, you see the pockets. So this is like, you want a cargo look, but you don't want it to be so casual. This is a good option for that. But then you can still wear these casually if you want to. If you're like in between me, who's kind of like casually dressy, these are the pants for you. Because you can do both, or you can do them at the same time, or you can do them separately. Same pants I have, same pants as the um, cream, but in, in olive green told you this is a color you can wear year round love 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 
Um, and then I have some jeans. One thing I will say when shopping express for jeans and you're not say buying the jeans from this video but say you're just doing shopping on your own make sure you're looking at the stretch in the jeans because a lot they've been making a lot more rigid style jeans um and they're lacking stretch so curvier girls might have an issue with some of the styles or you may have to size up because it ain't it, it ain't getting in it's not flattering in these these areas so definitely double check that before shopping or if you need help just send me a message and i'll be glad to point you in the right direction um these jeans do have stretch in them they are slightly rigid but they do have stretch in them i can get them on and these are a size 10 and these are the 70s flares which are mid-rise i do normally prefer high rise but i'm always between mid and high rise but they have, you know, I did mention, I think they're a moderate stretch or a comfort stretch. Um, I usually want to do high stretch is my favorite. Um, but some of the pants, um, I can do comfort or moderate stretch. And I believe these are comfort stretch. Um, so they're able to get on for sure. Um, but these are so cute. And what I like about these 70s flares is that the the um flare part of the leg is is wider than you know some of these flares are not really flares they're more boot cut these are flares there's no denying that these are flares it definitely widens out a lot at the bottom and i that's why i believe they call them 70 flares because it's given homage to the 70s which is one of my favorite errors for fashion besides the 80s and the 90s But yes, these are a nice pair of pants and I got light wash for the spring. I tend to only wear medium and light for spring and summer. You're really not going to catch me in a dark pair because I do have a nice pair of dark flares from Express that I got early in the year. But I'm not featuring them because I'm really not intending to wear them at this time of year, to be honest. Um, so I believe that's everything. Um, definitely, if you can take anything away from this vlog, I would definitely say add basics to your closet if you don't already. Summer, spring basics, of course, because, you know, you do basics for the winter and fall, and then you have your spring and summer basics. Definitely add those and the colors that you see you wearing more often, colors that would go with a lot, like white and black. Um, invest in a good blazer if you don't want to do anything colorful definitely stick to like white or black which I did mention some of these items come in those colors as well if you want to pop a color go with something I would say definitely go into the store if you can try them on see what colors gravitate best I will say that melanated folks more melanated folks tend to look good in this color it's like the sun's coming out of your skin and it just it just goes and also like a vibrant pink as well yes I didn't think I was gonna look good in this purple but I did um, it, it's like warm colors yes warm colors um, definitely if you are scared of color start with maybe like a colorful basic and pair it with a more muted outfit like so for instance you do all black pop on a pink top underneath something or you know stick to your neutrals like white cream those colors those will always kind of bring down the color in your outfit it'll still be it'll be a slight pop but nothing in your face and definitely get some basic dresses because we in there we outside it's it's heating up today here this is it's currently saturday April 1st here um, and it's like 70 degrees in New York City so I'm very happy about that so I'm trying to wrap this up so I can try to get some sun um, but yeah if you like this vlog please subscribe 
comment, like this video. Let me know what was your favorite piece, something you may already own, something that you want to get, something you have your eye on. Let me know in the comments. Definitely subscribe and follow your girl. Also follow me on Instagram as well. It could all be so simple. The E is the three. And I'm out. Enjoy.